The next recipe that we're making is the Spana Copita. Now this recipe is made by Feel Good Foodie, another amazing cook who I follow on YouTube and on Instagram. And she made this recipe and as soon as I saw it, I thought to myself, I have to try it. I've already prepared all of the ingredients for it, so let's get to it. Heat olive oil over medium heat in a medium sized pan and add red onion. I'm making about half of the recipe because I only have about 10 kilo sheets, whereas Feel Good Foodie in her recipe, she uses 20 sheets. And then we'll add some dill. I didn't have any dry dill, so I'm just using fresh dill. And I didn't have any more garlic left, so I'm going to be using garlic powder instead. This is ready now. I'm gonna transfer it over onto a plate to cool. To effectively drain our frozen spinach, I've let it sit out for about an hour to thaw it completely and I place it into a cheesecloth bag. And I'm going to just drain it out like this to get all of the water out. And we should be left with about a cup or so of spinach. I've added the spinach to the pan and now it's thoroughly heated. So I'm going to turn off the heat and add the onion, dill and garlic mixture back in. And then I'll add in our green onions, along with the parsley, the feta cheese, and the lemon zest. And we'll mix it all together. I think someone's getting a little hangry. Luna, are you hungry? Do you smell some delicious food? We're gonna get you dinner right now. She wants some food, so give me a minute here. Five minutes later. So I'm preheating my oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and now this is thoroughly mixed, so our filling is now finished. Now let's move on to our phyllo. I've prepared my phyllo sheets here and cut them up into about three inch size pieces, and it comes out as four different sections, and I've covered it with a damp paper towel. We'll place about four sheets here, oil them up with some melted butter, and start the process of filling the sheets up. I'm just finishing buttering our first layer of the phyllo pastry and now I'm going to place our second layer of the pastry on top. It's time to butter up our second layer of the phyllo pastry. Alrighty, I'm all finished. I'm going to place about a tablespoon of the filling at the edge of the phyllo pastry for each one of them. Now we're gonna fold it over into a little triangle and we're gonna fold that over and again and we'll repeat this process all the way until the end. And we'll arrange it about a half an inch away from each other on the baking sheet. Our first batch of the Spana Copita are ready. And they're gonna go in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And our chicken is now ready. So we'll add our heavy cream and our pancetta, mix it all together and let it cook for a couple more minutes and I'm going to just taste it and adjust for seasoning right about now. Get a little mushroom in there, mm. it's really good. I would say it could use a little bit more pepper but salt is perfect. So we'll do that now. We'll add some pepper. And let that cook for five more minutes or so. Alrighty, these are now ready. It's getting pretty late now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freeze the rest of these and make it another day. Sometimes for meal prep, I like to do this, and then if, for instance, these are gone in a couple of days, then I'll just bake the ones that I've pre-made from frozen, and it might take a little bit longer in the oven, so maybe instead of 20 minutes, I'll do about 30 minutes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
It took me quite a bit of time to make all of these recipes. However, it'll really pay off throughout the week when I'm busy and working. So that way I don't have to prep all of this throughout the week. So all in all, I'm glad I spent most of my day cooking all this delicious food because I get to enjoy it. Now the hard part is finding space in my fridge to fit all of this food. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below your favorite recipe from all of the ones that I made today. Also, follow me on Instagram at Greco Recipes and on TikTok at Greco Recipes. Have a wonderful day. Bye! It fell on the floor, but it'll be in the oven, so I think the bacteria will die. I'll keep you posted if I get sick or not. <laughs>